Hey guys, for sure starting here. In today's video, we're going to be unboxing the new Alpine Green iPhone 13 Pro Max in a new unboxing video. This phone was just released and made everyone really surprised because this is the fifth color that Apple has introduced for the Pro lineup. Generally, in the past, we only seen Apple just stick with the four colors the Sierra Blue, which is a special edition, but this time that green edition also came out. Not really sure why Apple did that, but here we have it as, and we're gonna unbox it here. So as you can see the box is very similar to the other ones. You've got this Alpine green all over it, and then similar, very similar to the blue one. You can't really tell much of a difference here. So this is the Pro Max one, which starts at 1099 for the 128 gig. However, this is the 250 six gig as you can see here so we paid a little extra you're gonna have to pay around 11.99 for this model so let's go ahead and start the unboxing here so first thing first is that no more plastic we have these paper pool tabs first one and then the one from the bottom here oh, so pool tabs are out and and go ahead and take the phone out from the box here. So as you can see here, this green, it's more of a darker shade of green, like a forest kind of green in terms of a lighter green that we've seen on the regular iPhone 11 model here. So let's go ahead and take this off. And as you can see in the box here, same thing like Apple includes the USB-C charger cable and then the pamphlet here, which simply just has the SIM ejector tool to remove or insert your SIM card, that warning, and then the big Apple sticker. So that's all you get in the box. There's no headphones or wall adapter, which are additional things you do have to purchase here. We're gonna go ahead and compare it with the blue color, just a quick comparison. But as you can see here, this is the green one, and taking a look at the blue one here, which I already have powered on. So the Sierra Blue here. So quick background check on this. So if you're holding these side by side, the blue one here, of course, is the Pro model, not the Max. That's why it's a little bit smaller here compared to the Pro Max here. So you see a little bit of size difference there, but but the colors are pretty much the same consistency. You notice here the top here are blue shades, and then the sides here as well, and then on this side you have the 5G antenna, very reflective, and then the charge here. So we're gonna put the blue over here, go ahead and set this phone up a little bit more. So we're gonna go ahead and power it on. So if you never powered on or haven't powered on a newer phone, you simply hold the side button here, press and hold till the Apple logo appears. Hopefully the phone is charged. So it looks like it is charged, ready to go here. So green versus the Sierra blue we want to hear from you guys what's your favorite color and which comparison you want us to do make sure you guys leave a comment in the comment section so as you can see iOS 15 is already installed here I believe 15.4 might be the latest version so you might see that install when we set it up so we're just gonna simply go ahead and set this up quickly here but if you're going through the setup make sure you you actually do it correctly here so I'm gonna go ahead enter the Wi-Fi info so you need to either put your Wi-Fi info or you sell your data or if you don't have either of those connected to your computer so that you can get through this process of course it will help if you enter the right password for the Wi-Fi here cool. so we're entering the password one more time hopefully it goes through all right hit next here can see this bigger body phone you got the smaller top notch which is probably the biggest thing the 13 Pro Max like the 12 Pro Max has a 120 Hertz refresh rate which we'll try to demonstrate in this video it's hard to kind of recognize the difference between the 60 Hertz and the 120 Hertz but we'll try our best to do that so as you can see face ID and all of that stuff we're simply skipping through because you can come back to the settings and reset all of this so it doesn't make sense to spend time on it but if you're setting it up, of course, make sure that you do go through all the steps here. Uh, the phone is already loading for us, which is a little surprising. It shouldn't really happen. So something must have happened with the Wi-Fi. Agree. 
Yeah, make sure you have a good Wi-Fi connection when you're setting this up. And we are into welcome to iPhone. So as you can see, the new iPhone here, it's already coming through. Settings or everything is going through, ready to go. If you already have a SIM card in there, you might not need to put your SIM card in. You just have to activate service, but it's ready to go. We are started here. So quick look between these two phones, the Pro. Let's go ahead and power on. Hopefully this one powers on. We're going to go ahead and power on the Pro model so we can do a comparison quickly between the Max and the Pro here. But here, as you can see, we're wondering if, if you do touch it, if it's going to leave fingerprints or not. As you can see here on the blue one, it does. But the green one, we're not seeing as much. Maybe it's the finger here. It's odd. It looks like it leaves it, but then it moves away. These are water resistant and dust and fingerprint resistant on the back. So shouldn't see much of an issue there. But looking at these two phones, again, these huge cameras with the cinematic mode that was introduced, those bottom speakers, flat bezel like the iPhone 5 lineup here. And here's the blue one here. So as you can see, the comparison between the Pro and the Pro Max here. So Pro Max seems like it's a little bit bigger, especially my hands aren't as big, but Pro here for me sits better. But it might be different for depending on your size of your hand. So quick look at ProMotion here, which is supposed to make the feel more smooth or buttery. Not really sure if that's the case. We'll let you guys make that decision here. Again, there's not much to show besides the both phones, of course, have same thing again. Might be choosing, let's choose a, a style here. Probably the most interesting part is the cinematic video mode, which allows you to take shallow depth picture, which you can continue. See if you can really take shallow depth pictures. As you can see here, the contrasting shallow between the photos. So that's probably the most interesting part here. With the macro mode as well. See how close we can get it into the frame. You can see it's looking to adjust the camera. Here you go. And that's about it for the green unboxing of the Alpine green iPhone 13 Pro Max. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys enjoyed the video make sure that like and subscribe button. See you guys next time.